Okay, welcome to PC training, basic training week two. Just want to show you this is XP. We have XP Windows 7 and Vista in the class. So right now this is for the XP users. And we're gonna go over how to manage your desktop. You right click on the desktop in a blank spot, click properties. And this is what we looked at today. So we looked at themes, how to change your different themes, and you look we can click here and you did go into different uh, themes. And you, you can explore around with this and you can see that you can get that old Windows theme back there, but I don't want that. I'm gonna leave the gray on here for now. So I'll right click on the desktop again and I'm gonna click on properties and we'll look at actually the desktop. And we can do different things with the desktop. There's a background, we can change the background to uh, the autumn, and you'll see a preview in here. It's a little slow here because I'm running parallels. This is on a Mac, so it runs a little slower. And we can take color out there. There's the, uh, the autumn. Now, looking at that, you'll see that the edge around here, the gray, which would be here, it'll stay a sailor. There was a question today, I believe, by Pat, who asked, how come hers is just square, whereas other people fills up the whole space? Very simple. You just go to here, that shows it's centered. So it's set, the photo is centered there. And we can either tile it, which makes it, uh, splits the photo and sends it in four squares. But that doesn't look very good in this type of thing. We want to stretch it. And then I'm going to apply this just to show you how it looks. And there it is. It goes like that. That actually is a kind of a nice scene. I like Ethel's uh, way. She says she can hang folders in the tree. So she knows, she does this at home. So her favorite folders, she knows where to go and pick them when she needs them. I thought that was kind of neat. We have a screensaver. We went through that. You can, you can play around through different screensavers. Uh, there they are there. And you've got, of course, you've got your settings. Uh, some, you'll see that there. It'll say screensaver is no option. That's because it doesn't have any. Some do and some don't. If you want to do this, uh, let's see. You can do the marquee, or my picture slideshow. So if you have any photos on your uh, computer, you can have it go like this, and there's no pictures found. So I don't have any on this in this uh, box here. You have the 3D box. Fly around, and there it is there. So, personally, I'm not going to bother with any right now, but that's what you want to do. Appearance, you can change all kinds of stuff here. And remember, once you do change it, you can change it to silver, uh, olive green, we looked at, and that'll change that. See, it changes it up there. Effects, you can have a fade effect, standard, use large icons, click OK. Uh, that'll put large icons, advanced, you go into the advanced, and you have different colors on different spots. So there's, you change that, and you can put there and that. Uh, and this will change the color on all the different things, and the caption buttons, size 25, you can change the, the size of the screen and everything else, right? And you can see all different at the title bar, you can change the size of the title bar, change that around, change the color, whatever you want, like that. If you click OK, it still won't go, and the, the last thing you want to click is apply if you want it. So you can click OK, right, and then apply, and that will take effect. I don't want it to take effect, so I'm just going to cancel it, and all I did there was a bit of window shopping and test drive. No, I really like that. If I right click and go to properties again, again we're on Vista here. We've got the screen server set settings. So we can look at the settings. This is a different screen resolution, which you don't want to put. And what you want to do is uh, put it at the highest at 32 bits. Some are higher, it all depends on your computer. And these here, just go in and have a look and see what's there. A lot of this won't make any sense to you. Don't touch anything here, just leave it, but you can have a look around. Um, let's see what else we can do. And I can't let... That is just different screens, and we'll go into that later on. 
Uh, we still have the new for the folder. We looked at that. Um, and then you right click. You can arrange, arrange properties. Auto arrange, remember, we don't use. And don't use a line to grid. That takes the control away from you and gives it to the computer. You can have your icons by name. You can arrange them by size. And you can arrange them by what I prefer is type. So it puts all the icons that are the same together. And really, that's what we went through today. And anything else? Uh, have any questions? Just go to our website, http colon slash slash, and the address is central united church.org. Go to the computer section. In there, there's a computer form. Click on that, and you can go in and ask questions. We have 10 to 12 expert computer people monitoring all different aspects of computers, from digital photography to Mac computers to Linux, Vista, XP, Windows 7, you name it. So if you've got a question that's nagging you, don't pay for help. Go to Central and go to the computer section, and you'll get free computer help. There. I guarantee you'll be satisfied. If not, email me or look into the reason why. I'm going to give you a guarantee right now that there should be no problem. So thank you for watching.